Today I'm going to be doing a Hitman Blood Money uh, Santa Assassin ranking on Curtains Down. Let's get to it. Now, first things first, I am going to say uh, we have to pick up this pistol. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Chat, chat. And he gives me a replica or a real World War I pistol. I think it is the Mauser. Yep. It's a beautiful gun. It's also in Hitman. No, no, it's also in Resident Evil 4, the OG and the remake, which is amazing. Now, we're going to wait here for those people to turn around, so I don't want to be spotted. Also, if you've uh, come to, like, just chill to watch something in the background as background noise, that's perfect video for this. A perfect video for that. And uh, I also have to say to any of my returning viewers that are expecting a hitman contracts kill everyone video uh, I've run into one problem on the meat kings party which is that hitman contracts as a whole has much larger maps you know they aren't really compact nor better structured and so the problem begins when I try to kill some it just didn't kill them for some reason, like, I could shoot them in the head while they're on the ground, and, like, you can see the blood spilling from their body, and they don't die. They aren't shown as dead for some reason. And so I have to check to see how to fix that, but uh, in, the in the meantime, I'm just going to start recording more of the Hitman Blood Money Sound Assassin on pro videos. Now, first things first, we, uh, you see this guy? So we're going to do what's called the pro gamer move. We're going to... No, no, no. We're going to take a coin. We're going to... Boom. You should go over there. Right? Yeah. We're going to take a sedative. Run up to him. Hopefully he didn't see us. So we're going to take the disguise. We're going to take the suit we're gonna place it in here and now that's the majority of the level done literally just once you get one disguise this level is easy as cake you pick this lock as long as this person doesn't see you you go through this door you go evade the police officer you go to the right and you go to the left right up the stairs now, this is a bit, you know, tricky if you're unexperienced. You see this guard? You have to wait for him to go into the toilet so you can go into not the main star's uh, room, like of the opera. You will go to the co-star and you plant the real World War One pistol and then you take the replica so he shoots the main star that you have to kill on stage and it's an accidental kill. Easy. Now, the problem with this is you have to actually wait in the closet for a considerable amount of time for them to actually finish their routine and to come here. You can even pick up this, which uh, literally tells you what I've told you. Like, you can look at it and it literally says the actor playing the executioner has drawn a crude image on this piece of paper where he'll stand, where the main character of the opera will stand, and also when to shoot him, you know. So, I'm just gonna cut to me replacing the pistol. Yep, and there he is. He's gonna be scratching his head. Because, uh, I have no fucking idea why he scratches his head. Like, I haven't even replaced it yet. He just entered the door. He's gonna speak some, I believe, French. And he's gonna be, you know, practicing with the pistol. Like, do, Like, you know, like, acting. To fucking make it as believable as possible or dramatic as possible. I have no idea what people do in the opera, like legit. I think they they do like acting with singing whilst singing, that is. I don't know man. The only opera I listen to, like the only opera songs I listen to is let me take the prop and let me put down the real one. The only Opera, opera, yeah, opera songs I listen to are Ave Maria, which is in the, I believe, only ending 
of the Hitman Blood Money. And I also listened to Carmen Habanera, which was in one of the game theory videos with uh, Austin, if you remember that guy. Like, I think she still records for game theory. I'm not sure. But I got hooked on, like, the intro, and I had to search it out, like, dum, da dum 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 da dum 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 And then it starts singing, like, yeah, that song. That's Carmen Habanera. It's amazing. You should give it a listen. Now, as he's exiting, I can just run out the door. Next thing you go is through this door here. You go up the stairs, and we're going to play... We're going to plant a cheeky little surprise for the Oprah Watcher. By the way, I believe it is stated by the reception is that uh, the dude, like one of the targets that is watching the opera, is uh, a little bit more than just friends with like the dude I have to kill that's acting on stage, which is really fun. Oh, oh shit, I missed. Wait. Oh yeah, by the way, for some reason, I can't uh, go like the other way. When I climb that, it just tries to plop me down. So I have to go all the way around to get to the ladder. Yeah. So we're going to place bomb. And we have to go down as fast as possible because the moment the gun shoots like the main actor, the dude watching the opera will be distraught that his lover died. Then he'll come running down. He'll trip. And that's when you activate the explosives, because when you when he trips, you're going to activate, activate the explosives. The chandelier, which is magnificent, by the way, if I may say so myself, will drop down on him, which is perfect. Also, we can take a look at the opera. Oh my god, I have such a big urge to, like, snort because of all the... I don't know what it's called, when you're sick and, like... Your nose fills up with fluid and stuff. It's really bad. I'm still sick, by the way. It's been a week. I've been sick from last Friday till now. Like, I'm still feeling it. And it's really bad. I've had to... I, I think I drank, like, four teas and two coffees in one day. Because I was so sick. Like, I couldn't stand coughing and having my throat dry enough to like choke on just air like breathing in and sort of drank <laughs> four teas that shit was awesome it's like um yeah i know this isn't really a topic of discussion meant for hitman blood money on a silent assassin on pro but you know i just like the chat and you know it brings me closer to viewers i guess but uh, I have a cup that's not like those cups that are like 250 milliliters. And yeah, because I'm going to use European, uh, not the, yeah, whatever the Europeans use. Because I don't know the metric system that USA uses. It's confusing, like really confusing. So I'm not going to convert it. Just convert it online if you don't know. But uh, I have standard of, I have standard cups that my family drinks from, which are, 250 milliliters of water which is perfect for you know uh, Turkish coffee uh, and stuff but uh, I use one that's literally 550 or 500 and it is amazing because I think on, uh, literally those four cups of tea were literally two liters that I drank and it's fucking amazing because you know daily your daily water intake should be two liters or more if you're more active. You know what's something funny? I never saw that um, piano in the state in the map before. He's gonna shoot him. I have the display on the right because it helps me. You know, it might be a bit distracting for y'all, but it really helps me. Now, when he's dead, you can see this dude over here, right in the corner, right? Yeah, he's gonna be distraught, like, absolutely. I don't know enough English words for, you know, panicked. Um, to, he's gonna run, he's gonna trip, I'm gonna activate the bomb, it's gonna explode. 
I'm gonna run back for the suit and we're just gonna exit. Like, yeah. <gasps> oh no! He died! No! And he's gonna trip right over there where I'm looking, right? And. Boom. Easy. Now we just run. I can't go the right to the right because it starts uh, my player character starts to climb down for some reason <laughs> really funny also I've gotten a lot of uh, subscribers recently which is amazing like sincerely I hope you have a great day to anyone that subscribed uh, because it really means a lot to me like the viewers sure you you can come and go as you please but when you subscribe to me uh, it really helps a lot because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, maybe even more. Because um, this morning I was thinking about, uh, yo, what if I met one of like my uh, favorite YouTubers to watch at the moment, like Sea Dog VA? It'd be amazing because like imagine the th fucking talk we'd have. Uh, because, you know, when you meet one of your heroes or whatever, you know, people that you like watching and stuff like that, uh, then TDM, maybe somebody else, uh, you're going to be stuttery. Like, you're not going to be chill about it. You're not going to be like, hey, yo, bro, what's up? What's good, gang? You're going to be like, oh, my God, I just met him. This is the best day of my life. Now we're going to escape. Enough yapping for today. And let's see. Accidents 3. Okay. Silent Assassin and 15 minutes. Let's go. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe. Please like. Please uh, put a comment down uh, down below. Whatever you want. I don't know. what What's your favorite type? What's your favorite part of the video? And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Hopefully, in the Hitman contracts, kill everybody.